the Eskimos, the BC 49. Burnham, big pressure. Nowhere to go. 60, Classen, 64, Jonathan Craver met at the quarterback. Well, one of the things that, that BC has lost since Hitler has been hurt is that power rush. And Klassen Klaus, uh, is playing in the position that Hitler played in. Normally he played on the inside in the tackle position, and they made a nice combination of the two, but now he's got the responsibility, and he's got to use his agility and his quickness on the outside. He went around uh, Stevenson that time and made the play. Again, we're going to see the niftiness of Warren Moon here. Santucci makes a nice block there on Klaus and turns him to the inside, but Klaus persistently stays after him. Rick Klassen on the sidelines now. And you had an outstanding afternoon, young man. Okay, thank you very much. I thought our defense played very well in the first half. In the second half, I think Warren and their offense really started moving the ball. And uh, our offense came up with a big play at the end of the game, and it was a heck of a ball game. I thought you played outstanding throughout the whole game. Uh, several times there you went in and made contact and then went to the outside and got to the quarterback. But let me ask you one question. On that touchdown by, uh, by uh, Warren Moon, when he came back to that side, did you have the contain on that? Yeah, I did. I took a chance. I went inside and lost. And Warren's a heck of a football player, a uh, great quarterback, and he made a nice play on it. And he saw I wasn't there to contain it, and he ran it in for a touchdown. Well, let me tell you one thing. You made up for it throughout the afternoon. You just had a great afternoon. Thank you very much. We're just underway in the second quarter. Comes Mac Moore. <laughs> Rick Klassen was there with great, great pressure from Mac Moore. Just a little dealing in there from the defensive end and defensive tackle point of view, and it was Mac Moore that chased Holloway up there to where Klassen could actually get credit for the sack. Watch number 78 coming at the bottom of your screen. I'd get out of his way, too. Well, I sure would. <laughs> at this point, though, Frank, that defensive front four of the BC Lions is dominating that offensive Outstanding line. Outstanding job. I think that's the feature so far in the first quarter and a bit. Holloway has two seconds left to get the playoff. Just made it. the second sack of this first half by Rick Klassen. Well, it's as simple as this, Frank. They're just doing a heck of a job on defense. They're getting the pressure from the front four. The secondary is so solid this afternoon. Holloway, look, he just has nobody to throw to. Thirty-four seconds the time remaining. Barnes rolling out to his right. Being chased by Klassen. And Clausen is the man who finally caught him. Barnes was looking downfield, but you saw the experience there, Ron. He was not about to throw it away. No, he wasn't throwing. He was just running a little bootleg action to try to get all those defensive linemen out of there and clear the other side for him. Roy to Wolf, throwing deep, looking for Shackley. in Rick Klassen of the BC Lions, the outstanding Canadian, the Dick Suderman Trophy. A tough game. It seemed to change in the third quarter when the Toronto defense took over. Well, Toronto, you have to uh, compliment them. I think both offensively and defensively did a super job. And I thought we played well. We just came up on the short end. It's unfortunate, but you got to commend Toronto. They played a heck of a football game. Anything you want to say to these fans here? Well, I think... Uh, Hopefully it's the start of a dynasty here. It was our first year in for 19 years, and we're going to come back next year, and we're going to win it. All right, our congratulations to Rick Lesson, Joe Barnes, and Carl Brasley. Fourth highest total ever in a single season. Bob Clements in second down. He's in trouble. Clements is sacked. Clements almost in the end zone. Peter Brockett first down is hit. The ball in the air is picked off by the Lions. I, I think it's Rick Klassen. Yeah. Hit again by James Parker. And Klassen got to it before the ball hit the turf. What a game James Parker's had so far for the PC Lions. Rick Klassen running around there. Quite happy.
be. I'm sure that that's Rick's first interception of his career. I think he wants the ball, one. too. <laughs> <laughs> Referee says you can't have it right now. Canada, USA, and Sweden. Peter Brock goes down. James Parker and Rick Lassen met at the quarterback. The 37-yard line. Well, if Dieter just needs an extra second to look downfield, he's not getting it this afternoon. The Lions, great pressure. Schultz and Klassen beat on the play. Number 67, left offensive tackle. And Rick Klassen's another BC Lion that's had a big year, number 90. Dieter Brock is down again. Rick Klassen greeted him. Dieter with the semi rollout. Didn't really even have time to set up and look downfield. Klassen was right on top of him. Well, there's nothing fancy here. Just a great rush by Klassen, number 90. You can see they're bringing Glenn Jackson down at the bottom of your screen. You'll watch Klassen come in there and just beats the offensive line. Stop it right there. You can see Ross Francis trying to pull out, come over there and help Dieter with protection. But Klassen just blows right by him. Don't give him any time. We don't feel like he can uh, get the ball down the field. and. If we do that, we'll be okay, and we'll be able to secure the record, hopefully. Well, that defense is looking awfully strong, and now your offense is starting to perk good, too. Well, the thing is, they're moving the ball, and they're keeping us off the field, so we're well rested when we get back on. You're going good, Rick. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Sean. Placard à gauche, left tackle, numéro 90, number 90, Rick Klassen. He was nominated in two categories. He lost the other to Winnipeg's Ty Jones. Rick Glasson gets through to sack quarterback Ken Hobart. This to me has been the difference in the football game today. The BC Lions front four have been able to get more pressure on DeWalt or on to uh, Hobart. They haven't been able to get to DeWalt too much. Once, once again, they try to keep him inside. You see Parker chase him inside, and there's Glasson to make the tackle. They've been getting by those offensive linemen of Hamilton. One thing about the BC Lions front four is that they have the quickness on the inside that Hobart can't step up inside them like he has done. Receiver and Rick Glasson is there for the tackle. Sacking Ken Hobart and Rick Glasson appears to be intent upon earning that outstanding performer award from this 1985 breakup game as he did in 83. And there is an injured BC player out there. Rick Glasson is down on one knee. Product of Simon Fraser University. And how the British Columbia Lions have reaped the rewards of the football program at that school. Boy, I'll tell you, there's a bunch of them around, and it's been one of the good schools to produce football players for the CFL. They must have a great program. They've got to. In big trouble. He was looking left all the way. There was nothing there, and the rush got to him before he could look elsewhere. Big loss. Rick Klassen leading the charge. From the 47-yard line, the Argos first and 10. Gibbs in trouble. Klassen finishes him off. Gibbs mishandled the snap, got it back real quick, but now he's in trouble back to the five-yard line. Rick Klassen and James Parker. <laughs> Greg Ellis in the draw. Good Fumbles the ball. The Lions have got it. Larry Crawford. His second fumble recovery of the season. Rick Klassen made the hit on Ellis and forced the ball loose. Well, I think he was holding the ball properly. He just got that arm pulled away from him just at the last moment. In fact, I think Klassen's left hand even hit the football away from him. Deep for Christensen, and they step in front of him and give him a wrap at the same time. Jay Christensen, the intended receiver, the pass. Rick Klassen giving the high five. I'm surprised he can even give the high five. He's playing with torn rib cage muscles, and that's going to be painful. <laughs> Didn't stop him there. Rick Klassen, one of the better defensive tackles in the league, always comes at you and always makes some great plays. Dunning an eight of nine in the third quarter alone. He drops the ball. That's a loose ball, and it's a Saskatchewan touchdown in the arms of Gary Lewis. Well, so much for momentum. Rick Klassen who is so fired up for this football game. He came to the stadium at 3.30 this afternoon. And he is playing, like he said when he was traded, like an untamed pit bull. <laughs> Rick Klassen indeed punched the ball out of Matt Dunnigan's arms. 
And Gary Lewis was the guy who gets the touchdown. Klassen the credit. There's no place to go on Rick Klassen. He does it. He's not splashy, not spectacular. But you look for big plays, you can bet he's going to be around it. And what a job he did handling offensive guard Jamie Buis. Burgess is taken down by the ankle. Waited a little too long. And his former teammate, Rick Klassen. Rick Klassen really is a... Uh, Undersized, I guess I'd call him an undersized defensive tackle at about 245 pounds. But there, I don't think anybody in the league plays with more intensity or emotion. He's just one of these guys that he'll keep flying, scratching, fighting as he's crawling to get the quarterback. Just a tremendous effort. I know the Saskatchewan defense certainly misses him. You're entitled to call him undersized. I don't think I will. <laughs> Jones gives to McVeigh again. The Lions are more into this play. Well, there's a good look at a fellow that, regardless of what the score is, he's got the reputation of going full blast all the time. Second and ten. coming up with the defensive play of the game so far for the BC Lions sacking Sean Salisbury and forcing the Bombers into a punting situation but that man right there did his job for the BC Lions defense that was the first real inside pressure that we've seen all night and it gets to the quarterback Salisbury well you heard Rick Klassen say you were going to win this one 